Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to discuss the singer Halsey and a comment that she made very recently that kind of sparked some conversation here. All right. So, according to Glamour and also, you know, the Twitter receipts, Halsey tweeted the following. All right. I've been traveling for years now, and it's been so frustrating that the hotel toiletry industry entirely alienates people of color, she wrote. I can't use this perfumed, watered-down white people shampoo. Neither can 50% of your customers. Annoying. Okay. So Halsey wants hotel security shampoo for people of color, right? people who have different hair textures all right and by the way for those of you who don't know or who might not know Halsey is uh, biracial she's white passing she has a white mother and a black father and I actually did a video about her a, a little while ago right where she um, did this interview with Playboy and she says she views herself as a black woman all right <clears throat> and ultimately I was like well I'll just see how it goes right just see how she represents before I you know extend an invitation to her for the cookout all right so Halsey stated that you know made that statement and then Twitter went into a frenzy you know and then you know, some fans responded with complaints saying that she was, you know, quote unquote, one of those white people, you know, trying to virtue signal, among other things. Well, that's what they wrote. But basically, just saying that she one of those white people. So why is she complaining? You know, why are you complaining, Halsey? You one of them. <laughs> and Halsey went on to defend her position, you know, as well as clarify. And by the way, this article is from Glamour Magazine. As well to clarify, you know, that she's biracial. Her dad's black, her mom's white, right? And she um, goes on to say, quote unquote, I'm white passing. I've accepted that about myself and I have never tried to control anything about black culture that's not mine. And she said that back in 2017, the Playboy interview. Then she says, quote unquote, I'm proud to be in a biracial family. I'm proud of who I am and I'm proud of my hair. All right. Um, I'm going to stop for a minute and address something. Halsey in the Playboy interview back in 2017, she said that she was or views herself as a black woman. But here she's saying she's biracial. Black women and biracial women are not. A hundred percent equivalent. It's not like they're in interchangeable. Although some people would like them to be, but they're not entirely interchangeable. Although you do notice that when it comes to the biracial women, they can be biracial or black women, but the black women can't be biracial or black women. They're just black women. Right? You know, something that I noticed, right? Um... And some people said, just bring your own shampoo, which I think at this point, most people of color, especially women of color, tend to just bring their own shampoo, you know. And then some people pointed out that, you know, in general, hotel shampoo is garbage. <laughs> Even for the white people, it's garbage, you know. And one lady, I think, uh, goes on to say, as a person with 4C hair, I don't travel without my hair care products. Like, why would I want some to use some cheap-ish <laughs> from the Dollar Tree? And no, help, and no hotels need to cater to my hair. I'm paying for the room, bed sheets, and towels. And then, you know, some people came to Halsey's defense saying that, you know, we're not all millionaires, yet we do stay at hotels and would appreciate if the shampoo didn't turn our hair into Brillo pads. <laughs> <clears throat> and then Halsey pops off, you know, comes back with, 
who knew me acknowledging that white hair care products are the national standard, parentheses, while POC are confined to a tiny aisle, would piss off so many people? Not sorry. <laughs> uh, how's he going in on these, <laughs> on these white people? Interesting. <laughs> And she goes on to say, if white people can enjoy the luxury slash convenience, there should be an option for everyone too. It's an insignificant, quote unquote, insignificant example of a bigger problem. That's all. That's all, she wrote. So she's saying this is like, reflects a bigger problem, which is, you know, businesses not taking into account their customers of color. Right, their clients of color, which, you know, that could, that is definitely, you know, something that's valid. <clears throat> um, but, you know, some people may see that you may think that it's kind of like frivolous to talk about shampoo, you know, and on the surface, yeah, you know, but I think the bigger picture that Halsey mentioned is kind of like, well, it does reflect, you know businesses not really taking into account their customers of color who don't fit into this like white box that we are ascribed to you know <clears throat> but personally i'll just say bring your own shampoo honestly i think most people tend to just bring their own shampoo and own body wash anyway you know and I think that may honestly just be across the board, you know, just everyone in general, right? Um, you know, but I want to mention something about Halsey. Um, you know, Halsey, she's, she's trying to claim like, you know, a POC identity. You know, she seems to consider herself a person of color. Um, she may be jumping back in, in and out of blackness when convenient, perhaps. Perhaps, you know, it's just something that I'm, you know, picked up on. Um, no, and I think, you know, this is a nice start for Halsey. If she wants to be invited to the cookout, you know, this is a nice start. Um, something that I would like to see her do, you know, this is just me putting it out there. I would like to see Halsey maybe perhaps take some of these, you know, light skin and biracial and even non-black women to task who talk about and say disparaging things about dark skinned black women. I think that would be a great thing to do. You know, and not on some like Amber Rose shit where you, you know, you want to call out Kodak Black, but then spend like, you know, uh, like five paragraphs talking about your experience as a light skinned woman who identifies as black and non black and mixed and just all over the place and then considers herself, you know, exceptionally beautiful in comparison to the women that she you know, live within her town. Like, we don't need that. We don't need that type of ish, right? We don't need that. So, I, I would just like to see Halsey maybe, you know, step up to the plate a little bit more and use, you know, your white passing privilege to help folks, you know? You know? And it, you know, it could be low key a good PR move for you to do it, you know? Honestly. I think you may end up, you know, winning yourself a couple of more fans along the way, you know, plus doing the right thing. So it's really a win-win situation. Do I expect or anticipate Halsey doing this? No, I don't. If she did, I would, you know, be like, that's what's up. You know, I'm proud of Halsey. Good job, you know. But I don't expect this. I don't see this happening, you know. I think that she'll just stick with, you know, these low-key race issues type of thing, you know, which many light-skinned, biracial, white-passing women often tend to do anyway, like go on and on about the racism, but then when it gets to colorism, well, you know, colorism is really just an extension of white supremacy, and if we just deal with white supremacy, then blah, 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 blah. <laughs> which is like true but still it's a bit you know dismissive well extremely dismissive and it just seems to be you know 
folks want to deal with the problems that affect them only, right? That's why you notice, like, you know, these pro-black folks, you know, especially these, you know, the pro-black dudes or the pro-black adjacent people who, you know, don't want to say, like, they're pro-black, but, you know, I'll say that they're pro-black adjacent, all right? These pro-black folks. Since colorism, they don't feel like it affects them. It's not an issue, right? Because they feel affected by racism. And that's why they pop, you know, popping off about it so much, right? They feel like they they're affected by white degeneracy, right? So that's why they popping off about it. That's why they speaking up about it, right? But when it gets to colorism, then it's like, eh, you know, <laughs> like we still on colorism. <laughs> that's still an issue, right? Oh, you're beautiful. You know, that's one of the, that's a low key, another one of those gaslighting tactics, right? Which I don't know if it's mentioned or not, but, you know, giving the dark skinned woman compliments, saying your black is beautiful, like you're beautiful. Low key, just throwing some compliments your way because that's all they really want, right? That's all this is really about, you know? Just dark skinned women wanting some attention and wanting a couple of compliments. That's all they need. You know, they you know, they just want a pat on the head. Right? You know, isn't that just he <laughs> just uh, very condescending? <laughs> All right, but let me bring this video to a close. I just wanted to put that out there for a moment and see what you guys think. So thanks for watching. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.